weeks, the nation has been reliving the death of George Floyd. And as millions watch this trial of Derek Chauvin, another police shooting happened, gripping the state of Minnesota once again. News 5's Renee Skinner joins us live with more on how reliving trauma like this can really affect mental health. Good morning, Renee. That's right. Good morning, Bree. Well, last summer, you may remember Southern Colorado had its fair share of protests as well. And once again, race relations and policing have dominated the news cycle, not only because of the expected verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial, but also because of the release of several troubling videos involving black and brown individuals and police. Now, I spoke to both Dr. Anthony Young and Leona Abdullah Ward. They are both psychologists and residents of the Springs who host emotional emancipation classes. Uh, these are support groups for African Americans who have experienced trauma from racism. They both explained to me that black people are facing a collective sense of grief and trauma, and that has grown each time there's been a loss of life involving the police. This feeling is nothing new, but the pain is still just as raw. Some see themselves and their children reflected in the victims of police violence, heightening the grief they feel. It still makes my, my blood boil. Because any of those people could have been me, or people who I care about, or people who I don't know but who still represent my culture. We have to talk about our feelings. We have to talk about our experiences. And all this is what we do with emotional emancipation circles. Now, since the Derek Chauvin trial, participation in these circles has gone up, not just here in southern Colorado, but across the country. Now, we do also have to acknowledge that police officers are feeling the pressure and tensity in the communities they serve. Many departments in our area, though, do want to bridge the divide. So in the week ahead, News 5 is doing a special report with the Fountain Police Department who are beginning to talk to kids about the do's and don'ts uh, when interacting with a police officer during traffic stops. They're taking that conversation into schools. It should be a very interesting report, something you don't want to miss. We do have more resources sources for you online. If you would like more information, just visit KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Renee Skinner, News 5.